This tomato plant got huge this year. It's so heavy and it has so many little tomatoes on it that it's actually about to knock over this cage. Look, at there's so many in there. There's so many more flowers, so many more tiny, tiny tomatoes. This one plant alone has already produced hundreds and hundreds of tomatoes this year. And the plant is very healthy. It's down here inside of this whiskey barrel. I have a lot of tomato plants in these whiskey barrels. What I'm thinking I might do is, in the winter, I might try to extend its life. I might try to bring it in the basement with some grow lamps. Or upstairs I have a couple, I don't know what you call windows. They look like sliding doors, but they don't open. They're just down to the floor. I think this would do perfect against one of those windows inside the house. I think I'll give that a try. Because we're about to get frost soon. I think we are. Coming over to one of the frog ponds. Tonight is going to go down to about 38 degrees. Feels chilly. Not supposed to get a frost. Other than tonight, every other night's in the 40s. High temperatures aren't getting above like 66 for the foreseeable future. Would be nice if it got a little warmer one more time. I remember back in 2020, every day in um, October was in the 80s. It was a really nice fall. But this year looks like winter's going to come a little sooner. It's been a cool year. Rainy year. It's probably going to be a really cold, snowy winter. With a lot of precip. That's what they're predicting. It is possible for us to get a frost in late September. Unusual, but possible. I think in a couple of weeks we'll get one that'll kill everything off. Most of the frogs are gone for the... Because it's so cold. Nothing in here. This is always like their most active pond. I was over at the big pond. There's a few today. But at night it's not great for getting down. There's one. There's this guy. Yeah. There's a much bigger one. You can tell by their color that they're cold. Which means they might go into hibernation this time of year. And also in the spring they can bounce in and out. Like, if it gets warm again, they'll all come back out in the spring. Oh, look at that. It's a little roly-poly right there. Maybe he'll eat it. Um, I know back in the spring, there'll be a layer of ice on the pond at night. The next day, the sun comes out, you'll see frogs go back out. The next night, they're all gone. They bounce in and out this time of year. Now that winter's coming, I can't wait to see how this holds up. I just poured some concrete here going into the house because it was dirt with just a couple stepping stones before. That is about six inches thick of concrete, but I think I may have done it wrong. I'm hoping that it doesn't crack and shatter in the winter because even though I sealed it, when it rains, it turns dark. It's getting in from the outside somehow. The reason I sealed it is because when I got it wet, it was making like a sizzling noise, like it was just full of spots for water. I feel like this is going to be a shattered mess in the spring. Maybe just the surface, but maybe we'll have to redo it. Out into the garage. Another little project I'll probably do in the winter. Just pushing the garage door out of the way. Is up here. There's only two... 2x4 is holding the whole attic. If I went up there, there's a good chance I'd break that because it bows so much. I want to maybe connect that to the roof or replace these and add a bunch of 2x8s. It would be nice to actually be able to store things up here, get them off the floor. I got to go and get some parts for this lawnmower. I was going to be fixing this thing up soon. Got it new front wheels because it has a plastic drive gear against a metal drive gear, so they wear out every few years. Got a new blade because this one has a big chunk taken out of it after hitting a rock and it's been shaking the past year or so. It's not something you can just file away unless you broke the other end the perfect way. And I also got a new discharge chute because that's not even meant for it. just keeps falling off. That'll do good soon. Got to go pick those things up. Because I live in a place that's so far in the middle of the woods. Post office doesn't come here, so i got to go pick it up somewhere else. I think maybe tomorrow I'll do a video 
cooking up something from the garden. Maybe I'll try breaking off a piece of corn in there. I got mixed answers when I asked if baby corn is just any corn before it grows up. Some people said it's a special type. Some people said it's just small. Well, we'll find out. We'll break a cob off there. I know they're not full size yet, and I don't even know if they'll get the chance to become full size. Weather's so cool and rainy for the foreseeable future. I don't think that corn will be growing much more. We got a lot of tomatoes we got to get out of there. I was able to get like a hundred out of there last week. Gave them all to my mother when I went to visit. Two weeks ago, gave them all to my grandfather. Now we got to go in there and there's probably a couple hundred more. Got to pick them off, eat as many as I can. And I think I'll leave like a table on the side of the road for free. Any of the neighbors who come by can just take them. I'm not going to try selling it or anything. Just rather it not totally go to waste. And we got a ton of lettuce in here. I only grew that lettuce because it was from a kit. And I wanted to try it. I want to actually grow something that I like next year. Like actual iceberg and romaine lettuce. So all of these in here, it's been rained on, watered so many times. I don't think we're doing another round of pesticides. There's no pests and everything's going to get hit by frost pretty soon. So I'm going to rip up every single one of these heads of lettuce and I'm going to go bring it to my friend who has the tortoise. Maybe we'll do that next week before frost kills everything. And I got to look up, maybe the tortoise will also like all the broccoli leaves since I know broccoli leaves are edible. Yeah, so we can not have this go to waste. Just throw it all there and that tortoise will have fun eating all of that. And yeah, it's... It's been over a month, so I'm sure all the pesticides and things have rained off it. It's no different than the ones we buy the tortoise at the store. Those definitely get hit by pesticides at some point, too. I'm going to go in here with all the marigolds, deadhead them, break off all the dead flowers, put them in a paper bag so they don't rot and become moldy, let them dry out, and then in the spring you can replant all the seeds that are in those dead flowers we also still have to dig up where all the tomato, I mean the potato plants died. There might be some under there. We also have onions. None of those seem to do well, so I'm not expecting anything. Maybe a bunch of tiny little ones. And I forgot we probably have hundreds of carrots here we got to start tearing out. I didn't realize that carrots, the tip of them, the orange part, you can actually see down there. Unless it just eroded. But that part that's visible, a few mice or something small, maybe a vole or something has been chewing them. But we got to rip up all these hundreds of carrots. Tortoise will love those too with all the greens attached. So I'll bring a bunch of them down too when I visit my friend with the tortoise at some point. And that'll be on that channel. Or maybe I'll post a copy of it here too because that channel, we don't really use it. When I upload something there, only maybe a couple dozen people watch it. That channel's dead. Haven't used it in years. My tortoise base channel called The Friendly Tortoise. Really haven't uploaded to it in years. So, yep, we got only one big zucchini this year. It's tr The plant is trying to grow a few, but I think it's too shaded. We didn't get any squash, actually. Yes, we have one squash, and it was an accidental plant. When I had all my seedlings... Whatever ones didn't pop up after a few weeks, I just discarded all the dirt. And one started growing there in a random part of the yard. And I think we actually do got one on there that we can try. I also have over here asparagus in some pots. That's coming in the house for the winter because it likely won't survive out here in the winter. Maybe when it's a couple years old, it might survive because that's a plant that keeps coming back forever once it's established. But it's so cold up this far north, it's not going to survive its first year. It's not hardy enough yet. We can also disconnect the electric tra the electric fence transformer, bring it in for the year. Because it has a big battery, it shouldn't be left out in the cold. This thing works incredibly good. It gives a big, powerful shock if you accidentally touch it. It's got an off switch when you're working in the garden. This thing does work good. We haven't had any big animals come into the garden. I don't even know if they tried or not, but I definitely tested it myself with the back of my hand. I accidentally got zapped once. Anything like the corn, anything that any plant that goes and touches it, it dies. So it works good.
It looks like we have a giant spider friend over here. No, just a leaf. But there are spider webs. Here's the corn. Do you guys think this can mature in just a couple weeks? I don't know. See, it is cold enough that I'm actually wearing a jacket. You see, this is touching the electric part. I don't want to get zapped by that, but... See, this at some point was touching the electric fence, so it, like, burns it. See, this was touching the electric fence. It got burned. Any parts that touch the electric fence end up getting burned by it. You see that? Look at that. It just kills anything that touches it. That electric wire. I'm just a little bit bored tonight, so I decided to make a little video walking around. It's nice and cold and quiet. Clear skies will probably drop a few more degrees, but I'm not worried about a frost. It's like 10.30 now at night, maybe almost 11, and I hope this little video is interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.